Welcome to this instructional video for Thermco's model ACC RT8002 temperature data logger. Okay, uh, let's get started. Turn the unit over, open the battery cover, remove the insulating strip, and the unit's now powered on. A quick overview top you have your internal temperature, the middle is your external temperature, and below you see the time and SD, meaning that the SD card is installed. Uh, set button for setting your min and max alarm set points and time. And also min max is for your screen, uh, which I will show a little later once we get started. On the side you have your USB port, SD card slot. On the back you have your C and F temperature scale selection switch, reset button which resets the uh, unit back to factory settings, power on off button, and your up and down buttons to uh, scroll through the different settings. On the left hand side you have your uh, 3.5 millimeter jack for your removable probe, also recommended by CDC or required by CDC I should say and back to the front. Alright, so one of the first things we need to do is to uh, configure the date and time. To do that, turn the unit over, to press the down arrow and the set button simultaneously. Alright, and you'll come to the screen. The first thing you will see is uh, 12H, that's meaning uh, that you're in a 12 hour format, press up or down button and you can go into the 24 hour format. I'm going to use the uh, 24 hour, uh, 12 hour format so I'll have to press it one more time. Set to select. Now we're uh, able to configure the year. We're in 15 so I'll go up one. I will set that for 2015. The month is 11. Select that, and the day. Today is the 13th. And now for time, up and down arrow. It's uh, about 1.30 here. If you go back, you can go to AM. But uh, as I said, it's uh, about 1.30 here, so, whoops, too far. one Let's select that for the hour and now for the minute go to 30 if you depress the button and hold it it will scroll quick quickly and select that and now we have configured the uh, date and time for the unit all right let's go ahead now and set the uh, <clears throat> the low and high alarm limit settings and uh, logging interval to do that, you depress the set button. Do you see set there? And now you see the internal is uh, blinking minus 10. It's got to be noted that uh, this unit, though it is a uh, two channel unit, meaning it, it records two channels of temperatures, one external, one internal, the base unit of this unit cannot be used to measure refrigerators or freezers. It's only meant to uh, record ambient room temperatures. For the refrigerator freezer, you use the bottle thermometer and that can be placed into the uh, refrigerator or freezer for monitoring. Okay, let's set this to monitor the uh, min and max alarms for a, an ambient room. Now I'm gonna put 20.5 degrees Celsius And that kind of correlates to 69 degrees Fahrenheit. And our upper alarm limit, I'm going to set to 26.1. Okay, now that's select. Now our external probe, I'm going to set it for an application such as uh, monitoring vaccines in a refrigerator. CDC recommends 2 to 8. So let's set our low for 2 degrees Celsius. Wrong way, 
point, but that's okay. Two degrees, that's our min. Let's now set our max, eight degrees. select that. Now we're uh, presented with one meaning one minute intervals. CDC recommends 15 minute uh, intervals for recording your data. And select. I'm going to press the set button once to quiet the alarm. We have an alarm condition due to the fact that the uh, external probe is set between 2 and 8 degrees Celsius when in fact the room is at 24.5. In order to quiet the alarm you can just press set once or any button in all actuality. Um, but that does not silent totally. What will happen within a minute it will start alarming again for a minute. After that the alarm will come back but only for two seconds every other minute. And the reason for that is to save power on the battery. Okay, if you want to disable the alarm entirely, you turn the unit over and to press the on off button quickly once. And you'll see the two bells are, are dis have uh, disappeared. Press it once again and that will reactivate the alarms. And again, if you want to deactivate the audible, just to press that. If the temperatures go back within spec, the audible alarm will stop, but the LED will continue to flash, and the um, high will still be shown on the uh, on the screen, showing a high condition. Now, to see what your current min and max temperatures are, currently we're in the current temperature screen. Press the min max button once. You see min down here, and that will be the minimum recorded temperature for both the internal and external. Press the min max button again, it goes to max, and we'll display the maximum recorded temperature for the internal and external probe. And once again, you'll come back to the original display. Again, go around, min, max, back home, current temperature. Uh, now you wanna take the unit, set it up to record data, you would depress the set button for about six seconds, maybe a little longer, till you see on record on the screen. And there it is. We are now recording data. Every 15 minutes, a record will be set to the SD card. If you want to stop recording, to press the set button again for six or a little more seconds, do you see on the screen say off record? And now we are stop data logging. At which point you want to download your records, you would uh, turn the unit off, to press the on off for a couple seconds till display goes out. You would then connect your USB cable to the side of the unit, plug it into your PC, turn it back on. A folder will show in your uh, computer section open up that folder and then there's an XLS Excel spreadsheet file that you can open up and retrieve your data. Or you can also uh, remove the SD card, put it into this card reader, put that into the USB port into your PC and uh, get your data that way. For additional product information for information on any other products that Thermco has, please visit our website at www.thermcoproducts.com or call us at 973-300-9100. Thank you.